Hey, hope you guys are doing good. So today we've got a huge bin full of awesome stuff I hauled in to resell over the past couple of days. And uh, anybody that watches this channel will know about this bin. It's the death bin. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting spray painting on the side here, just death bin. What do you think? Hi, guys. My name is Jason. I'm Thrift Trader. Thanks for being here tonight. And uh, I'm going to take a look at the chat, see who all is in here. We've got eight people in here so far. Thank you so much for being here. Lauren's here. Hey, Lauren. Michelle. Hello. Skull and crossbones. Landshark says skull and crossbones right here. And just say death bin. What do you think? I think that would be good. So, um, okay. So a couple of things. Um, my last video on this channel was about uh, me coming down with Bell's palsy. Um, so you'll have to uh, excuse me. Half my face isn't working properly at the moment, but it's getting better. Okay. So um, just wanted to throw that out there. Also, I had uh, um, some more news for you guys, okay? Uh, look, I don't care if you're religious or not. Um, prayer list or good vibes, however you want to do it. But uh, Katie Zilverberg, um, a lot of you guys may know her. Um, last Saturday night, she got into an accident. She's fine, um, but she is in the hospital. Um she is a founding member of the Facebook group Boss Business for Online Success. And she's also the 2017 eBay Shine Awards winner. Um, her and her counterpart, Vicky, have a YouTube, Katie and Vicky. They're awesome. They have a live show every Friday evening. Well, I don't know if it's evening. Anyways, No Pants Friday is what it's called. Um, so definitely check them out. So their Facebook Boss Business for Online Success, YouTube, Katie and Vicky. And uh, honestly, she, she's doing fine. She's in the hospital um, with a little bit of road rash. And uh, honestly, just keep her in your prayers. Um, so I wanted to give her a shout out this evening and uh, let her know that she's on my mind. So definitely wanted to get that uh, taken care of this evening. Um. So with that being said, um, what I got in here, clothing, shoes, books, CDs, DVDs, and electronics. I picked up a little bit of everything uh, this uh, this evening. So um, Michelle asked, was her girlfriend, uh, girlfriend hurt? No, no, she was not. Uh, thumbs up, God bless, and strength to your friends. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, guys. We are going to get started. Uh, so here we go. Something different I did today, and I have to thank um, a close reseller friend of mine for uh, teaching me this. Okay. So this is uh, on, on my phone. I have a mobile app, two mobile apps. One of them is called Book Scouter, and the other one. Is called uh, Declutter, D E C L U T T R. Um, Harry, who is a, a local reseller friend of mine and is also in my Facebook group, eBay Sellers Anonymous, um, showed me this. And I found this stuff at the Goodwill bins today and picked it up. It's just a bunch of VHS tapes, CDs, DVDs. Okay. I think. For this pile, I paid 50 cents because they weigh it. And uh, so, okay. Landshark said I can't keep up with you. Okay. Declutter. It's a app on my phone. And Book Scouter. You can't see it, but... There it is. Um, in the apps, like for instance, Declutter is for 
CDs, DVDs, books, and games, and you can also sell tech. But you go in and you scan it. This one didn't. There it is. I think this one I just bought because it was uh, brand new sealed. ET VHS. Oh, that's why. Amazon, I'm allowed to sell uh, VHS tapes. Like I said, I paid 50 cents for the whole stack here. And it is selling for well, maybe six seventy five for this. Uh, let's see. After Amazon fees, you know what? I'll get three dollars ninety three cents for this. Okay, but the point of this is like the the CDs will go to declutter. Okay, they're only going to pay like 25, 50, 75, maybe at most a dollar for these that I picked up, okay? But it all adds up. And uh the DVDs the same way because I cannot sell them on Amazon. I'm un I'm not gated. And then the VHS tapes, I pick up the ones that are brand new sealed. And these I can I can sell on Amazon. So Uh, let's see. Looking forward to your tech videos. I'm tech backwards. <laughs> oh, to Landshark. Yep. Uh, okay, so... You know, nothing big, but if you pick up stuff like that every day that you're outsourcing, you know, that's, that's cheap, if it's cheap enough, then, you know, it adds up. It adds up. Okay. I also picked up some books. Um, a lot of these I'll be sending to Amazon FBA and, uh, I picked these up at the bins as well. They wait, uh, they don't go by weight paperbacks or 25 cents. Okay. And, um, uh, hard books are 50 cents. This, this book right here is going to sell after fees and everything for 1389. So. That's not bad. Uh, Life Essentials. It's a study Bible. Heart and Hands, a midwife's guide to pregnancy and birth. So you're kind of getting the gist of what type of books we're picking up. It's all nonfiction, except for this. And I thought this was just cool. And uh, this, I'm actually restricted on Amazon. I'm going to send it, or I'm going to sell it on eBay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Ultimate Visual History. And this is what really struck my eye about this. Is within this book, let me find a piece. There are, see like this? It's it's just like, a, it's, it's almost like drawings within the book. So, I just thought that was really cool. I'm going to have to do a little more research on this. See, like this, this right here. It's just, I don't know. It's really cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, do the VHFs move well for you on Amazon? Honestly, um, I have sent VHS in the past, and it does sit there a little while, but it will eventually sell. And that's the beauty of Amazon. As long as it's not sitting there forever, uh, collecting dust and storage fees, you'll be all right. So um, I prefer only send the VHS that's new sealed, okay? Because those won't sit as long. <laughs> Hex here. Tim Heck. Guys, if you don't watch Tim Heck on Hex Treasures YouTube channel, definitely check him out. He's a good dude, no doubt. All right. Here's a, a uh, another book. It's uh, brand new, sealed. Martha's entertaining. A year of celebrations. 
Um, new sealed. This book, brand new sealed, cost seventy five dollars. Okay, um, I paid three dollars for this at Goodwill Retail, and um, if I remember right, the Amazon comps showed around thirty five. So if you guys are not looking at books, whether they be Oh, wow. Yeah. True statement. Okay, if you guys are not looking at books to sell, resell on uh, Amazon, um, you should, definitely. All right, so Seller Fulfilled, okay, I'm probably going to sell this Seller Fulfilled, $20.28 after shipping. After shipping it to my customer. So... Uh, and what was the, the best seller rank is something that you guys should be aware of, especially when selling books. I would try to stay underneath 500,000. This book is at 75,644 in best seller ranks. Um, I would say I'll have that book for at most a month. So, okay. Uh, generation G nothing but the truth. Uh, says an anthology of Native American literature. Why, oh God, a book of common prayer. Um, I live in the Bible Belt, guys. There's a lot of that. And a few more. Photographic lighting. A hundred things every designer needs to know about people. That's kind of weird. Um, Mosby's Home Care and Hospice Drug Handbook. The One Year Bible. The Complete Vegetarian Cookbook. We're almost done with the books. But let's see. Got more in here. Uh, the Complete Photo Guide to Card Making. Heart Healthy Cookbook for Two. And... This one was just mind blowing. Okay. This is strange. Dance of Death. Holbein is the uh, author. Tell me if anybody's ever heard of this book. Look at that. Is that not strange? When you open it up, it's got this. And it has this writing on it. I don't know. It's just a number. Second page, the dance of death. Third page is empty. And here it says, Holbein's Dance of Death and Bible Woodcuts, New York, 1947. A limited edition, privately printed for the Sylvan Press. And uh, right here, copyright is 1947. You can't see it. Oh, well. There it is. Um, printed in the United States of America. And it's so, it's so weird because it has the creation. Um, and some of the... Some of this stuff is just really strange. Some of the... Um, look at this. That is so crazy. I'm trying to get it to zoom in. There it goes. It's so, so strange. Um, but... Yeah, I thought this was a pretty remarkable and interesting book. Um, on Amazon, I think it was going for $40. Um, this was a Goodwill's 
Goodwill bins find? No, I take that back. Uh, the I think this is. They have two different ones, okay? Um, they have this one, which is like a six hundred and seventy thousand rank, for like forty five dollars, and they have this one, which is um, this one looks black and green. In the photo, I'll have to look more closely, but this one looks more like mine. And yes, it's a very high sell rank but they're asking two hundred dollars for it so this is something i'm gonna have to do a lot more research on um obviously it's old you can tell um uh, and it's really really crazy really crazy looking so found that i thought that was interesting okay what's everybody saying ah uh, yeah, Landshark said, don't be afraid to sell books on eBay if you're getting it on Amazon as well. Seven more thumbs up required or class will be halted until we get the extra thumbs up. Thank you so much, The Truth. I appreciate it. That is the truth. <laughs> uh, 1947, yeah. Is it numbered? I see one on eBay that sold 55 shipped. It's not numbered uh, it's not numbered I don't think I don't know. if it's numbered on the, no it's not numbered on the back I don't know it has a number here it says b eight hundred zero three one a I don't know if that means anything um but this says uh, from the library of Amy rich and Amelia Du Bois. I don't know. It's very interesting. I have no idea. Okay. I picked this guy up. It's just a Sony DVD VCR. Okay. Uh, the, what is it? Where is it? I can't even remember. Oh, there it is. SLV-D300P. These usually sell for anywhere between 50 and 100 bucks for me. So I usually try to pick them up for five to ten dollars. I try to stay at 10 percent with this kind of stuff. So I'll pay 10 percent of what it'll sell for. And found this at Goodwill Retail today. Uh, Samsung Ultra Slim Wall Mount. Um, paid seven eighty seven for it. Yes, I paid eight dollars for this, but it's brand new. If I can get that stuff off the front of it, I'll be able to sell it on Amazon as new. And the cool thing is, when you sell this stuff FBA, you just tell Amazon what you have. You put it in the box. You send it to them, and. When it sells, they ship it for you. So they store it for you, and they ship it for you, and they just send you a check. Well, they deposit it in your checking account. This is what Amazon Fulfilled will make me. $78 and a penny. And... Uh, I paid eight dollars for it, so that's good. Ten percent. Uh, this was a really cool find. I cannot remember. It's um, I cannot remember what the comps were on eBay. Tell me how many people had one of these when they were growing up, because I did. It's an electronics learning lab. Um, literally, what you do, th there's a bunch of springs that you can just kind of connect different wires and different resistors and stuff together. It's got like directions on how you can build certain things. And, uh, and so, yeah, you, you just like complete circuits with it and the board does different things. 
So um, this was really cool. Found it at the Goodwill bins. Um, it's got a ton of stuff in it. It's got basic electronics workbook. One and two. A whole bunch of this stuff that's never been opened. And here's the board. Here's the board. And um, it just takes batteries. And it's got these little, uh, just little springs on there. You can see them. And uh, it's got a DC milliamps thing. This is really cool. Uh, but yeah, I had one of these growing up. All right, let's see what else we got. We got some clothing coming and some shoes and a couple more electronics. I got a really cool something at the very bottom of this bin. Okay, so here's a, just a men's BKE jacket. It's faux leather, not real leather. So here's what it looks like. Do what? I need the car keys. You need the car keys. I need the car keys. Okay. Here's the car keys. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's see. Starting new series. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. This was cool. Found this at the bins. Paid 50 cents. It is a vintage Nike duffel bag. See that? Okay. Here's the thing. The only thing wrong with this duffel bag, see it even has the original strap with it. The only thing wrong is this pull tab on the top is broken off, but there's still enough to grab. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, there's still enough to grab. Other than that, all the other pull tabs are great. Um, here is... The label, it's a gray tag. Um, I know this is vintage, but I don't know what year. So if you know what year this tag came from with Nike, uh, let me know in the comments. Made in Taiwan. And I, from what I saw, these go for about $40 or $50 on eBay. And they sell quickly. So... Definitely keep your eye out on duffel bags, vintage Nike sports duffel bags, especially the crazy colored ones. Ah, yes, I think there is a website with the help with gears of Nike logos. Yes, that is right. Um, vintage Fashion Guild. Is that right? I think it's Vintage Fashion Guild. And they've got tons of photographs of different tags of clothing um, that uh, and, and it tells you what year those tags were made from. And they've got tons of different uh, manufacturers as well, or brands. Gray tag is 90s. Awesome. I'll take it. 90s are uh, definitely in style again. Okay. Let's see. Here is a used Panasonic uh, five-piece cordless digital telephone uh, set for uh, for the home. And um, oh, and it also has an answering machine. Um, this stuff used like the more pieces that it comes with, the better. And uh, and as long as it's in good condition and all the pieces are there, it's definitely worth taking a chance on. Um, these sell for like I think it was like forty or fifty dollars, if I remember right, used on Amazon. So as long as the pieces are there, you know, and you could sell it on eBay too. But with electronics or stuff that you've got a UPC code for, um, sometimes it's just easier to send it into Amazon. So I paid six dollars six cents for this. And uh, used, they are selling for uh, eighty dollars. Says there, uh, three new and used for seventy nine ninety nine. 
Um, right now, I do not think that there are any used because it's only showing up as new. But new, you can see what price they are. Over $200. So, yeah. So probably eighty dollars. Yes, Nevermore said go Sooners beat Vama. Yeah, uh, Tide stops with me. Roll Tide stops with me. How about that? Okay, this is just a uh, Camelback hydration backpack. I think I found this at the bins. Definitely gonna have to clean it. Um, may even sell it without the the water tube that's in it. I don't know. It depends on how bad it looks. Um, that actually does not look bad at all. So we're good there. Don't go on eBay. Oh. Look there. Got another book. Uh, Natural Health Remedies. So, okay, with books, like most of the stuff that you're going to find that's worth money in books is going to be nonfiction. Uh, Self-help books, things of that sort, that's the stuff that, that sells the best. Um, here's some clothing items. Okay, this is a women's L.L. Bean um, hooded uh, coat. What is it made of here? Um, wool. It's a wool blend. Okay, but it's it's just a nice it's a nice coat. Nothing wrong with it at all. I gave like five dollars for this thing, and um, I know that these probably sell for about forty to forty five dollars, especially the stuff that's got the faux fur. Uh, Around the hood here. A couple of pair of shoes. These are... Yes, I bought these without laces. Okay. Mainly because of what they are. They're Ariat ATS um, work boots. Okay. It's not going to cost me anything to go to Walmart and get a pair of black laces and put these bad boys on. So... They're in good shape. I gave half of that, so I gave five dollars. And here's a pair of Skechers Shape Ups. Um, I really enjoy selling these. For some reason, they sell very well for me, around forty to fifty dollars every single pair. So, here's a pair of men's pants. Um, these are, I'm going to butcher this, Peter Millar. Um, and they're wool, I think. No, nope, they're 100% cotton, but it's dry clean only. It's like a really soft cotton, almost like Turkish cotton. But they're uh, dress slacks. Pair of boots here. Uh, they're waterproof. And what's the brand on them? Oh, these are Justin's. I got these at the bins for two bucks. Um, Justin waterproof boots. And uh, these probably sell for $50, $60, especially in the condition that they're in. Really in, really in good condition. Uh, here's another pair of boots. Uh, this was a bins find as well. Can't remember the brand. Looks like these are also Justin's. Yep. Justin boots. Uh, 
Okay. A lot of people would have passed these up, okay? But, uh, yes, they're dirty. You can see how dirty they are. But that's all they are is just dirty. They'll clean up. See, look, look at the bottom of them. They're uh, pretty dirty. These are Foot Joy M Project or M Project. The number is 55132. So if you look at Foot Joy 55132, these are men's size 11 and a half wide. I'm going to show you why just a little bit of dirt isn't going to matter to me because I could take five minutes, clean them up. Put Joy 55132. All right, there's one active result, eight sold results. I'm going to tell you something. All right. When you're looking something up on eBay and you have one that's active and eight that have sold in the past three months, do the math. That means that odds are, as long as you stay within the market price of the sold items, you're going to sell that item in less than a month because eight have sold in three months, the last three months, and there's only one available right now. So with that being said, these are the these are the prices that I'm I'm getting. Hang on. Come on. All right. So not much there. But we can keep going up. I have no idea why that one went so cheap. But some of these Are worth some money. Thirty-five, forty-five dollars, thirty-three, thirty, fifty, fifty. Your best offer, forty-seven. So honestly, I think I would get forty, forty-five dollars for that pair of shoes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take five minutes, clean them up, take a picture of them, and uh, put them up for forty-five bucks and leave them. Odds are, odds are they'll sell at the least in a month and uh i'd say give it two months and they'd be sold yeah the auctions let me see here if you go to buying format and go to buy it now yeah some of them are auctions some of them just simply aren't somebody sold it had to buy it now for the that pair for two dollars plus ten dollars shipping. I don't get it. Um, Birkenstock. Um, I cannot remember for the life of me what the style is. When you deal with Birkenstocks, okay, I see a lot of people list Birkenstocks without going into detail and trying to look find out like what the style name of the shoe is. Um, here's a tip. If you can figure out what the style name of the shoe is by doing a quick search or like an image uh, image search and you include that style name in your title, you're going to get a lot better search results. Like people are going to be able to find you. People that are looking for this exact style shoe are going to be able to find your listing. Um, so yeah, Birkenstocks. Uh, Michael Kors sandals. Uh, this is a pair of men's Echo. Wow, what size shoe is this? Really big shoe, size 46. Uh, Echo is a good brand depending on the style okay the sneakers and the spikeless golf shoes do quite well so
Okay. I cannot for the life of me remember what the name of these are off the top of my head, but I did look them up. They are, uh, they're worth some money. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're Clark's Wallabies. Yeah. I think this is a pair of women's. Let me show you what these would go for. Sold, condition, pre-owned, 265. All right. So we have 265 used, active, 316 sold in the past three months. So that would tell us that probably within two months we would sell ours. And, uh, and so that's kind of what I like looking at when... I'm dealing with uh, uh, trying to figure out how long it's going to take for me to sell an item. And uh, these range anywhere from $20 to $40. So I would probably price these at $30. Bucks. The men's sell a lot better, but I think these are women's. It says 8M, size 8, likely women's. Um, this is a pair of born um, just ankle boots for women. They, when you have this like buckle system here around uh, around the ankle, it's called an engineer boot. And uh, for some reason, it's really in style right now. I sell a lot of boots that have this this uh, this buckle thing around it and it's called an engineer boot so these are a little beat up okay um but the brand is charming no it's not um charlie one horse and uh they are they're women's um the slip on, I guess they're called booties. And uh, they've got, you know, three different colors there brown, beige, and turquoise. And it's kind of uh, stitched in a design there. I bought these at the bins as well. And these, I've had, um, the comps look really good on this brand Charlie One Horse. see cannot remember what the brand is on these if i remember right it's not much of a this one's not like a big brand madeline i think but uh, these tall boots right now if they're genuine leather like i almost don't care what brand they are you'll get around thirty dollars for them but that's right now okay you gotta realize what season we're in and um for some reason tall riding boots are doing very well this year gotta do some cleanup on these these are vibram five fingers some of them can go upwards of eighty dollars so with these, you want to look inside of the sole. There's a number there that starts with M or W, okay? The W stands for women's. The M start, stands for men's. And uh, there's a number. Like this one is W118, size 41. These are solid black Vibram five fingers. I would never wear them. Let's see. So, what are you guys up to? You guys uh, do any sourcing lately? Have you guys been selling a lot? Christmas is next week, y'all. Uh, this is a pair of women's Ariat clogs.
pair of women's keen water uh, sandals. Um, these might be the Newport um, style. I don't remember. <laughs> Go Sooners. Yeah. No. Oh, Scott. Oh, Scott the Bearded Pickers here. Of course he had to come in and say that was an ugly hat. Uh, well, that's too bad. <laughs> uh, Bionic. Uh, women's moccasins. Bionic is a good brand. Easy $30. This is also another brand to look out for. I pick it up anytime I find it. Um, takes a little bit of time to sell, but they sell typically for really good money. It's similar to Birkenstock, okay? Um, these are made in Israel. It's Nayot. I think is how I'm... I don't know if I'm saying it right, but N-A-O-T, Nayot. Good brand. Uh, da, 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 da. Here's another pair of uh, riding boots. I think these are Steven by Steve Madden. Yep. And uh, I can't remember. I think these were around $40. Here's a pair of Ortha Heel. Um, I guess woven shoes. I don't know how you'd say that. But uh, they, they kind of, I think they have, oh, it's called Jelly. G E L L Y is the style name. So Ortha Heel Jelly or Gelly. These were really cool. I didn't know this. All right. Ugg and Pendleton. This is a men's Ugg driving mock toe loafer. And it's got uh, it's got Pendleton quilting on the top. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, Seymour asked, how long does it take to clean those shoes? Um, it depends. Some some of the shoes that I pick up don't really need anything. Um, but a lot of them do. And usually I'll sit down for a couple hours and clean 30, 40 pair of shoes. Lauren said, love those. Why are they not women's in my size? I, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, here's a men's blazer. Blazers and sport coats, guys, a lot of them take a little bit of time to sell, but um, they're worth the money. They're worth the wait if you get them for the right price. Uh, this is a Harris Tweed. Okay, um, just a men's sport, sport coat or blazer. I guess it would be a sport coat. And uh, this style of, when you see this pattern, okay, see how the pattern is going from the top right to the bottom left, and then from the top left to the bottom right? That's called, uh, what is that? That's herringbone. That's a herringbone pattern. I sure hope I'm right in that. I think so. Yeah, herringbone. All right. Here we go. So this is a women's titanium uh, by Columbia. Soft shell jacket. Um, Omnitech. Okay. I gave $8 for this. And this should sell for $45 to $50. Solid black. Women's size medium. It's a great size. 
uh, and it's in very, very good condition. So I shouldn't have any problem getting rid of that. Here is a pair of men's Lululemon uh, ABC pants. I gave $8 for these as well, but they sell for around $70 to $80. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, take a look at this tag so that you guys know what to look for if you don't know what Lululemon looks like. It's usually a long... I don't know if it's going to... I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, um, it's usually a long tag like that, okay, and it's pretty inconspicuous unless you're looking for it. Um, a lot of times, sometimes they won't even have an emblem on the garment itself, like for instance, in this case, Ronnie Hart. Hello, buddy. How are you, my friend? Guys, uh, definitely check out Hearts Pickers. He's got an awesome YouTube. He's been at it for years and years and years. And also, uh, my buddy Scott the Bearded Picker, he's also got an awesome YouTube as well. So definitely check those guys out. Um, Lululemon comes by me every once in a while. It's not, it's not a consistent thing, but... I'm glad to take it when I find it. All right. This was a cool find, y'all. Okay, so I was in the women's coats and jackets section at uh, um, Salvation Army, and I found this. Can anyone tell me, just by looking at this, what you think this might be? Is this men's or women's? What's its use? What's its purpose? Okay. Look, look at the inside here and, and this right here. I'll give you a hint. That's what the tag looks like. Tell me in the comments. We'll get back to it. A pair of Ugg boots. Okay. Paid $2 at the bins. Should be an easy sale. This is um, just a pair of women's tall riding uh, boots. It wasn't a brand that I was very interested in. They're vintage, I can tell you that much. Um, made in Italy. Marie Lavelle, L-E-A-V-E-L-L. -L. Made in Italy, all leather. Heart Picker said... Uh, Listing, but about to go to bed. Got to be at the doctor eight in the morning. I understand, brother. Uh, <laughs> Scott said, never find Lululemon. Yeah. Um, Hart said, Army. Yeah. Yeah. It is, uh, it's definitely Army. It's a military, men's military issue. It says a parka extreme cold weather type N 3B. Um, it was tagged ten dollars. I got it for five dollars because it is missing the rip cord for not rip cord, like the uh, just the cord for the hood to cinch the hood down a little bit. Um, but it's not the greatest, most desirable size. It's size small, but um. This was, I, I'm assuming, like the ones that had, you know, the cord and everything were selling for $110, $120, even the size small. Okay, so I'm expecting probably around $70 for this. Um, and it'll be really easy for me to just toss in a box and ship it out. Uh, guys, if you aren't using Pirate Ship to ship your uh, boxes, uh, definitely look into it. You'll save a lot of money. So it's just pirateship.com. It integrates with your eBay. Super simple and super easy to ship your items out. You get cubic-based pricing with USPS. Uh, beats the heck out of it. Oh, Ronnie. Good job, man. 
Congratulations. Down 50, uh, 50 pounds over the last six months. That's amazing, dude. That is amazing. Okay. Another pair of Uggs. Um, these are Foot Joy. Um, they are spikeless. Okay. Um, I gave five dollars for these. The style is five seven two five two. Let's look those up. Uh, five active, six sold. And we're selling let's go to used. So there's two sold and used for this price. So not too bad. Fifty to seventy dollars. Fifty to eighty dollars. Hey, take it easy, Ronnie. Thanks for stopping by, brother. You have a good one. Okay. This right here. I picked these up uh, earlier today at the bins. And uh, they are Women's Corral. Uh, cowboy Western boots. Got some crazy designs on them. They're just really stitched up. And uh, I gave $2 for these as well. Five and a halfs. Look pretty dirty. I don't know if that red is supposed to be there or if that's dirt. But I kind of like it. Looks good. It don't let a dirty boot fool you, okay? Some people do not care at all. Matter of fact, some people would prefer it. These are uh, men's Teva sandals. Teva is a good brand, especially in the spring and summer, of course, but... Uh, they show consistent sales. That's the thing. I'm trying to pick up brands that show consistent sales. Merrill, Teva, uh, everything that I'm showing you here, for the most part, has you know consistent sales. Now, they might be seasonal sales, um, which is something we can talk about later on how to like optimize your listings for seasonal, You know what you, sh what you should pick up and what you shouldn't. For me, you know, I'm paying $2 a pair of shoes at the bins. I don't care if they're seasonal or not. I'm going to pick them up because I'm trying to stock my store with my goal right now is 1500 active listings and shoes. Um, I'm about, I'm almost a third of the way there. And um, as many of you guys know, I'm going full time starting January 1st of next year. And so I'm hoping to be at a thousand pair of shoes by the end of January. So we will see. Uh, this is a pair of women's Merrill's. These I usually would not pick up just because of the condition, okay? But I wanted to give it a shot. These are men's UGG um, shoes. The suede is really dirty, y'all, okay? The suede is really dirty. You can see the dirt on them. But uh, I'm picking these up to see if I can't get them pretty clean and get them sold because the insoles are still, still nice. You know, they're not all, like, really worn down or anything. So, again... Two dollars. I don't always take chances on things that I don't think I can clean, but this is one of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to clean these. Uh, Nevermore asked, how many items do I have listed? Right now, I'm between 300 and 400, so not too many. Uh, last month was... What's my 30-day right now? I think my 30-day is at... Almost 7,000, or my, not 30 day, my 60 day.
My 60 day is at 68.52. Um, over the past 31 days, I've sold over four thousand dollars worth of stuff. So, my goal and my plan is to double that within 30 days. Getting closer to the bottom. Closer to the bottom. All right. So this is a this is actually new without tags, and the reason why I know it is because, uh, well, there's part of the tag left behind, right there, <laughs> and uh, it's a Foot Joy Dry Joys um, golf windbreaker jacket. I always do very well with these. Okay, a lot of times you'll find them in the thrift store with a bunch of embroidery from like golf clubs or whatever it be um membership club names and stuff but uh, in this case there's no no embroidery on it just a big fj on the back of it so that should sell most of the clothing that i pick up i try to get 40 dollar plus on okay that's that's kind of my goal doesn't always happen i know it's at least 30 as far as sales price Uh, here's Polo Ralph Lauren. Okay, nothing special except it's a black and white full zip track jacket. I think it was going for about forty dollars. So I thought it was pretty neat. Picked it up today. Paid five dollars. Um, also Polo Ralph Lauren, here's the thing with this brand, you can't just buy anything that says Polo Ralph Lauren. You just can't do it. Okay. Um, but wool slacks, especially like the tweed or the heavy weight, the, like the heavy, um, winter weight wool pants sell for 40, 50, $60 all day. Um, you might be sitting on them for a little bit, but they will sell. And uh, that's exactly what this is. They're pretty easy to spot in the racks, too, because you can just, like, look at the racks and tell just by the the style. Once you get once you train your eye for it, it's easy to find. Um, Nike Golf Tour Performance Gray Plaid Golf Pants. This is not a pair of boots that sells very well. It's Hondo boots. Okay, they're made in Mexico. Um, nothing real special about these, but they are boots, and I only paid two dollars for them. And I feel like, you know, a two dollar investment on boots. Most boots usually go for thirty dollars or better, I would assume. And uh, I've actually got a pair of Hondos up right now that uh, have a couple watchers. So. We will see how those do. Two dollars can't go wrong. Huh. Okay. All right. So I gotta get. Oh. Let's see here. Uh, five more pair. Got five more pair here. All right. Merrill. Um, I believe these are men's. Coach. These I'm fi I'm finding these. Okay, these are high tops. Coach high tops. I'm finding this stuff at the bins and my Goodwill bins. Men's Skechers, okay, not, not, here's the thing with Skechers, like, a lot of people think it's a lower-end brand, but this stuff is actually pretty expensive. <laughs> that bin holds a lot of items you will be listing for a month. No, buddy, I don't think so, I don't think. Uh, this is probably enough to keep me busy for two days. <laughs> See more. 
They're funny. Uh, this is this was a really cool find. These are Echo men's boots. Uh, they are Gore-Tex uh, men's work boots. Found these at the bins. I think these will go for fifty or sixty dollars. And these were pretty neat. These are Nike Air Force One. I can't remember what year, but they're really cool. Uh, the style number is 823511-001. I saw one pair listed, none sold, but one pair listed at $40. So. All right. Got two more things. All right. It's just an Emerson DVD VCR player. I paid $10 for it. It sells for about $70 on eBay without the remote. And it, it might actually sell more on Amazon, so I'll have to check it. Now this was my big score. This was my big score for uh, today's today's bin haul. So check this out. It is a Jägermeister um, shot uh, chiller and dispenser for your tabletop in your kitchen. And I did, uh, I did plug it in and test it while I was there. Made sure that uh, that it turned on and made sure that it was cooling down. I paid seven dollars for it. I don't plan on selling it on eBay, but I'll I'll sell it locally, probably for around eighty bucks. So that is my haul. So now I'm going to jump in the chat and see what's going on with y'all. Twenty three viewers watching. Thank you so much. Uh, it means a lot to me. It really does. I hope you guys like these haul videos. I hope you get. Get some information out of them. So, take it easy, Seymour. Thank you so much for being here, Riley. Riley McGee. Yes. Yeah, it was a good find. I enjoyed it. Uh, dude, what did you guys think about that book? Was that not crazy? That was a crazy, crazy book. Uh. That bin is like Santa's bag, bottomless. That's funny. Thank you, Piper John. Um, definitely, try, I'm I'm trying to to I'm trying to make these haul videos educational. Now, here's the thing. You know, it means it it honestly means no wait until I sell it and I show you guys what I'm selling the stuff for. It means no wait at all. So. I'm going to start doing a lot of what sold videos on top of this. Uh, so you guys get to see, you know, what I'm selling, not just what I'm buying. Because at the end of the day, when you're just buying and you're not selling, you're just losing money. Missed the book. Okay. Check this out. Oh, man. It's buried. <laughs> Here we go. Got it. Here's the book. Dance of Death. Look at that. So weird. Uh, this was copyright 1947. It says uh, Holbein's Dance of Death and Bible Woodcuts. New York, 1947, a limited edition, privately for the Sylvan Press. Um, I don't know, but man, like some of these, some of the illustrations in this book are wild. Look at that. It's crazy looking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's. It's crazy.
I don't understand it. Is that not crazy? So it says like the, the magistrate, the preacher, and under the preacher says death with a stole about his neck stands behind the preacher and holds a jawbone over his head, uh, typifying perhaps thereby that he is the best preacher of the two. Uh, if you ask me, I would assume that this is probably something to do with Satanism. I could be wrong, but I don't know. <laughs> Riley, Riley said, don't read it aloud. Have you ever seen Evil Dead? Oh, man. Yeah, so I don't know what the deal is with this, but it's pretty wild. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's my haul video. I do plan on doing a lot more videos uh, in the near future. Um, now that I'm going full-time starting January 1st, I'm going to have plenty of time to do it. Um, so I'll do haul videos. I'll do what sold videos. And... Uh, and plenty of more good stuff uh, going on. So the way you can find me, if you aren't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell button so you get the notifications. Um, I have a Facebook group. It's called eBay Sellers Anonymous. Please join us there. We're over 5,700 members strong, and uh, it's a great place to be. And um, you can also find me on Instagram at thrift underscore trader. And uh, that is... That's how you can find me. So definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, I'm going to do a lot more of these uh, haul videos. I sure hope that uh, you got you guys got a lot out of it. So thank you, The Truth. Said, uh, best wishes. Thank you so much, you two. Guys, um, I go back for one last week at work starting on Wednesday. So you might not hear from me till after Christmas. It's possible. Um, if that's the case, guys, honestly, truly best wishes to you and your family. Have a Merry Christmas um, and a awesome new year. I'm certain I'll see you guys before then. But uh, again, thank you very much. And until next time, keep on picking that trash and making that cash. We'll catch y'all later.